Now, before we look at gradient descent for perceptrons, we will introduce the delta rule. A delta rule is given by this. First, we have a function for the error. Now, T D is the true value in the training data set and O D is given by this function here. The function is already familiar to us. It is the perceptron activation function. O D is given by W0 plus W1 X1 so on and so forth till Wn Xn. Now O D is slightly different from what we used for the perceptron training rule. For the perceptron training rule, we used O to be the prediction. Remember the prediction is for a binary classification problem that is the, pre the prediction is either 1 if wi xi sigma i equal to 0 o to n greater than 0 right this is what we saw o is equal to 1 is equal to minus 1 otherwise and this is what we use in perceptron training rule. But here in delta rule, we use this function itself. This, sorry, this with the sigma. This itself as OD. So that's what is given here. So remember this difference whenever you are implementing delta rule versus the perceptron training rule, the definition for O used will be different. And now we are also looking at the error across all data examples. So OD is for one example d for d belong to d all examples in capital d where d capital d is a set of training examples now we calculate across all these examples what is the difference between the true value and our value of o and the whole square, the difference whole square. Half of the difference whole square and we'll see half is mostly for convenience. Why, we'll, why we have it, we'll see when we go to gradient descent. So this is the error function and we use this error function in delta rule. Now, we have an error function which looks like this. This is the error function. And we want to calculate the minimum of this error function, maybe somewhere here. Sorry, maybe somewhere here, right? And we take steps in that direction to arrive at the solution. We know this already from gradient ascent in logistic regression. So we are going to do something very similar, you'll see. So the gradient descent update consists of nothing but a partial derivation of the error function with respect to each weight. So that is what this is, right? Error function with respect to each weight. Remember in logistic regression as well, what we did it was a partial derivative of the loss function with respect to each weight. So here we'll do the same thing. 
which is so called delta E. Right, that's what we will do. And now we have delta W, where W is a vector, nothing but minus eta, eta is again the learning rate, times delta E of the W vector, which is given by all these values, all these partial derivatives, right? It's a vector, right? So that's what it is. Now, for each weight, what is the weight update? So the weight update, delta wi, is the weight update for the i weight wi. Is equal to minus eta partial derivation of the error function with respect to wi. So that is this quantity here, right? So that is our weight update for each weight wi. Now, let's look at how to calculate this weight update. So this is nothing but delta wi is equal to partial derivation of e with respect to wi. Now we know e, what e is, so we substitute that here. It's nothing but half sigma over d, all examples, d, small d is each example, td minus od, the whole square. Now we can take this inside because it's a summation. Right, so we can take this inside of the summation, the partial derivation, times TD minus OD, the whole square. So partial derivation of TD minus OD, the whole square. Now, we have the next step. When we differentiate this, we get 2 times TD minus OD. Multiply by partial derivation of td minus od. Right, so if you're first differentiating this entire function here. And that is nothing but this. Right? I'm just going to make it less cluttered. Okay. Now we have partial derivation of td minus od is still pending. Now we know that OD is nothing but a multiplication of the weight vector with the feature vector for example D. Right? This can also be written as W0 plus W1 X1 D plus w2 x1 d sorry x2 d plus w3 x3 d and so on right so where x1 x2 d x1 d and x3 d are the feature values of that feature in training example small d Right, so now we know this because that is what we know OD to be equal to. Now we know that we are only differentiating with respect to WI. Right, so all the other, all the other W's are constant in this differentiation. So the only term that matters to us is w i x i d that's the only term that matters to us 
that are n features so there are going to be n terms here w1 through n and also a w0 term but the only one that matters to us is this term here w i x i d now we only when we differentiate this we get the coefficient of this term that is nothing but x i d and there is a minus in front so we get minus x i d so this is nothing but partial derivation of the error function with respect to w i now we just derived delta w y now substituting delta w y here in this equation we get delta w y is equal to minus eta sigma over d t d minus o d minus x i d from our derivation in the previous slide 